All right, everyone, quick video on how to put these things back together. You know what this is, right? This is a hook. This happens to be from a, a two-ton engine hoist, and this is spring-loaded, so you can hook something on here and it comes back so that it doesn't pop out. But this thing got all bent up, and I had to take it apart. And once you take this thing apart, it's real difficult to put back on unless you know the trick. And I'm gonna show you the trick right now. It helps if you have a vise. If you have a vise, then it's gonna make it a lot easier. If you don't have a vise, vise grips maybe would be good and maybe a clamp to clamp it onto your table, basically making your own vise. But a vise is, is key here. And the first thing you can do is you're gonna put the vise in, you're gonna put the hook in the vise like this. For a second. And you want it to be pretty tight, but be careful how tight you make a vise because you can break them. It sounds crazy that you can break a vise, but you can very easily break a vise. It's not a press, so don't never put like a pipe on the end of this or anything. Make sure this is tight. So it doesn't swivel. Give it a see how this is moving. All right, that should be good enough. Sometimes you can put something in here to stop it from twisting but this should be okay. All right, this is gonna be easier for you to see if I show you close up like this. Here's what you got. You got the hole here, you got the spring, you got the clip, the smooth side points out and it's on the inside of this, see that? So that you could push something right here and it slides and boom, goes in. This clip right angle is like that. And the holes line up. Now. I use this, this is a barbecue skewer. Now you can use anything long, thin, and definitely metal. You want it long because it's easier to work with. So you're gonna put it in just like that, see that? You come in, you push this down, right, this piece here. And now what you have is, you have it lined up, you can grab it from underneath just like that put your thumb in, and now you have it lined up right with this hole. And you're gonna put a lot of pressure on it because you're gonna pull this skewer out. And you're only gonna pull it out till it hits this side. For instance, I'm gonna show you right now. I assume you can see, yep. You're gonna pull it till it reaches here. Do not pull it all the way out because this is gonna keep it in line. Not a good amount of pressure, See, my thing's already twisting. And then you're gonna immediately put it back in. Whoop, I missed the spring, see that? There it is, nice and long. You see how that helped? I was able to catch it and then boop, give it some leverage and push it back. Now, I have this thing in, it's in there good. Give it a squeeze, see this? That's another thing you can do. You can squeeze out a pair of pliers. And now you can see that, that, um, it's gonna, it works, see that? Let's get a pair of pliers and squeeze this up good. All right, so this is the pin that came with it. And I just punched it out, right, with a little hammer and a punch, it came out easy. But usually the way they, they do these is that they put it in and then they mushroom the end so it doesn't come out easy. And, uh, you know, just on its own, you have to hit it with a punch. I took that mushroom off with a grinder. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. We'll see, I'm gonna put it through. You really gotta have this thing squeezed up nice. Yeah, that's much better. And then the spring is tight. So we're gonna try and pull this out. This is, this. Um, I'm pulling this with my right hand. I really should be pulling it with my left hand. So think about what, what hand you use normally. That's the one you wanna push this pin in. It'll be a little bit easier. But I, you see how I have it lined up? The skewer works real good because it's a point. Now, if it's not aligned, don't go any further. Maybe with a pair of pliers to be used. Now I got it in the center. And now I'm trying to push it through. Oh yeah, it's right there, perfect. So I'm just gonna hit it with a little hammer, just tap it. Okay, now, 
The next thing is, is that this could slip out very, very easily. So what you do is undo this vise. I did that too tight. Okay. We put this down, make sure the, you know, the head of this is making contact. It's really got to be tight. And then this metal is pretty soft. So what you're going to do is you're going to mushroom it with the hammer or even a mallet. Let me get a mallet. And that's it. You can see now that it's working perfect. Almost better than new, to be honest with you, I think. I really have this thing squeezed tight, which is what you want. And I might hit this a few more times. You can test it by just pushing, and it looks like it's caught. So it's definitely not coming out easy. Now, you could get this out by hitting with a punch because what'll happen is, is that when you hit this with a punch, you're gonna enlarge this. Because remember, when you when you hit this, it, it's actually two curves to a mushroom. So you're, you're wedging in there and that'll open this up. That's how I got it out. But this seems tight. I mean, I may hit it once or twice more, but that's it. All right, that's how you fix it. Thanks.